that. And that's the lure that's just killing them. Look at the profile, you can't beat that for a little top water lure for a mangrove jack. There's a few little battle scars on the bottom end of that now. That's perfect. Welcome back to another My Lure Box video. In this video, I'm gonna take you through how I like to fish this new top water MMD Splash Prawn. This is the bigger version that's just been released by Mick this year. And uh, we're chasing mangrove jack. I wanna show you how I like to fish them and uh, what the action is that you can get out of these things. So come along with me, I'm gonna keep the camera rolling and talk you through all the tactics that I'm gonna be using this morning to try and get a mangrove jack. Let's get into it. So just give you an idea of the conditions this morning. We're on the back end of like a huge runoff period. We've had over four, 500 mil over the last three weeks and so it's been really, really dirty and uh, it's just started to clean up. So I've just come up to the mouth of a system that feeds into a lake and my idea is that as this system starts to clean up, the fish are gonna be moving back up the system and then starting to sit at the entrances to these creeks. And uh, hopefully there's gonna be some mangrove jack here and they're gonna be chasing the prawns as the prawns are moving through the system and um, starting to push back up with this cleaner water. You might've been able to see that. There's bait everywhere in here now. Just telling me, I think I've got the recipe right. There's going to be mullet and herring and, uh, and a load of shrimp coming up through here as well. So it's this sort of time, a couple, you know, two to four weeks after a big runoff period, depending on the length of the system and how much tidal flow you get, that uh, sort of dictates how a system's going to clean up. Obviously those smaller systems, they'll clean up first and so they're the ones that I'd go and hit first and then those bigger, longer systems take a little bit longer to clean up and sort of get all that silt and the dirt out through the system and then you can sort of get up and start to fish those colour changes and things. So that's the idea this morning. We've got a huge southerly just about to hit, um, like 25 knot southerly, so I've tried to get out before that this morning and um, just kind of try and hide out of it a little bit in this little creek. I want to talk you through some of the tactical little tips that I've got when I'm chasing mangrove jack on surface early morning. You can see that I'm drifting along. I don't know if you can pick up my shadow, but I've got the sun behind me here and I'm fishing both sides of this entrance to a creek. But usually I'll try and tuck out and get and just fish in the heavy shadows, but I've seen heaps of bait here this morning on this sunny side. So what I've decided to do is to drift the sunny side as well and um, just see what's in there. The tide's a little bit high, I've got a pushing in tide and it's sort of getting up into the back of the mangroves, which it's, it's not ideal because the jacks really get deep up in there. So you kind of want like a, a lower tide or that period of mid tide or the run out where it's pouring out of those mangroves. But there's still a lot of bait action out off the edge of it. So I reckon I'm a chance. So as I'm fishing this sunny side, I'm really conscious of where my shadow's casting onto the bank. I'm just trying to keep my distance back so I'm not quite in there with my uh, head and shoulders in against the bank, the shadow, because the shadow spooks the bait fish and the jacks are really wary of that as well. And it's just, if you're drifting with the tide, they're less likely to be spooked. It's sort of like a natural speed of movement and they tend not to spook as bad. So I try not to use my Minn Kota as much when I'm fishing a sunny side. I just try to drift with the tide a little bit. And generally, early morning surface fishing, I'm targeting the shadow side anyway, so it's not usually a problem. I've just seen heaps of bait on this side, so I'm just going to give it a quick hit and see what's around. Right, before I cross over and hit these shadows, I want to give you a good look at this thing in the sun so you can see the profile of it that I'm fishing with. Have a look at that for a prawn profile. And this is the genius behind the design, I reckon. It's this little collar at the front and the way that that's angled onto the profile of this little prawn means that the action that you can get from this is really like no other top water lure that I've used for mangrove jack. And you might have seen my reviews that I've done on the smaller MMD Splash Prawn, and they're great on jacks as well. They catch absolutely everything, those things. 
But uh, I've been dreaming and wishing and waiting for this thing to turn up the bigger size because I think the bigger profile just pulls the jacks out. And uh, when you're chasing jacks and you're using those smaller ones, sometimes you're getting brim, trevally, um, cod, even whiting. Um, yeah, absolutely everything comes out and grabs them. And sometimes the jacks aren't getting there first. So this thing weeds them out. And I'll tell you, what, these things are going to be gun on the barra as well up north. Absolutely no question about it. The things about this that I like, and I don't know whether I'm going to be able to show you in uh, with the video, like filming this in the water. Let me try and describe it to you because it, it's like nothing else. The, the profile that Mixed got this um, prawn to look like is obviously perfect, right? And you could run assists if you wanted to run a rear assist, and uh, that's not going to change the action at all. But you can see there's ball bearings in here perfectly weighted it casts perfectly like really true into the snag which casting accuracy is super important when you're chasing jacks but what i love about this is when you're bringing this thing in if you've ever watched a live shrimp or a prawn across the surface when it moves and tries to move forward it has like a body roll like front to back body roll and this thing sort of like pulls itself down like it's kicking through the through the water just on the surface and that's exactly what you see from a live shrimp. So, they're super impressive. The moment I, like I literally pulled these out of the box this morning and the moment I threw it in the water and started to just tweak it back, um, I knew I was gonna get into some fish and that's what's gonna happen this morning. I'm super confident in this thing. But it's that little sort of lift as it draws where you can fish this very simply just with like a slow roll or a wind, like a slow roll back and it just kicks it into action and gives it a tiny little like wake that comes out very, very similar to a prawn. But then this collar also gives it a, a little snapping, like it's not a popping sound, it's like a, a snap or a flicking prawn. The sound exactly like what you hear when you hear prawns flicking in around the mangroves. And uh, with those two things and the profile at rest with this thing, the way it sits in the water on the surface, I don't think there's a better prawn imitation on, on the surface. This thing's got it for me and uh, I'm going to fish the hell out of this thing over the next couple of years. And if you haven't got one, you need to get yourself one because they are going to do some real damage. So we'll go over to the other side now, I'll give you a look at it. How I like to fish in against these uh, shadowed areas. We'll go over the other side into the shadows where I reckon we're a little bit better of a chance where the jacks tend to use that darkness and the, and the shadow lines and the heavy cover to sort of ambush and get their, get their positioning right to smash some bait. And the way we're fishing now is up against this incoming tide. Just try and get us out of the sun so you can actually see what's going on. So this is like the first corner of a, of a feeder creek really, which is usually fire usually the way to fish. Just bring it around so you can see a little bit, hopefully the way that I'm fishing it. So all of these little mangrove bushes, these jutting out mangroves, they're where the jacks sit and they park up in there so that they can ambush the bait. As the bait has to get around these edges, that's where they sit in deep against this stuff. So I'm trying to fire my lure right in hard against this stuff underneath it. If there's, if there's space underneath it, you want to fire it in underneath. Or you can use the tide to look, drag it around into these like these danger zones. And I'm just giving it heaps of time in there. Like I said, you can slow roll these things and they just resemble a little shrimp moving across the surface perfectly. But what I really think turns the jacks on is a retrieve and stall, or like a stop start technique, where you're just flicking that little prawn that's just spitting water out. And that sound is just so, so resembling of like a little shrimp or a prawn flicking, trying to escape a, a predator. That's really what gets them fired up, eh? So I'm just using, like, this is my five foot six. It's an eight to 10 kilo bait casting rod. It's super heavy, the action on it. So real sticky up top. And that allows me 
to just get a really like tight, hard, kicky action with this lure. And I'm not having to do much at all. The little collar just pushes and spits the water out in front like a little shrimp. And so it's only like tiny little tick ticks of the rod and that little spray of water comes out the front and that's perfect for the jacks. If you've followed my lure box for a while now, you would have seen that I've done a lot of top water lure reviews for mangrove jack. And one of the things that I love about the best jack lures with top water stuff is that they've got like a, a bubbly, bouncy rest. So after you flick it in, you start to work it. There's this sort of like a fading rest that on the surface just sort of moves into position and then just sits there. This thing's got it as well. G splashes have got it. Um, my boy Howdy's have got it. Uh, what else have got it? Like Tango Dancers, they do the same little bouncy to rest. And what else? Little Frenzy Poppers. And it's something that I think really turns the jacks on. Have a look at that colour scheme too, the profile on that thing. Just super realistic. Uh, have a look at this. So there's another one, which golds and oranges and things like that, especially in dirty water. Having something like that might be useful as well. It's another option. But like with any top water fishing for mangrove jack, it's all about getting it right in on top of that cover. I don't know whether you're able to see that, what's going on, but there is a load of debris and stuff in there at the moment. And for whatever reason, like the way these, these hooks sit down deep underneath the bait like that, and this thing isn't right up on top of the surface, so the hooks tend to miss a lot, a lot of that debris and I've got no problems throwing into this dirty stuff. And the jacks will use that, they'll sit under that for more cover as well, where the light's even darker in the water and, and uh, the bait fish can't really get a grip on what's going on. The jacks will be sitting in under it. Boop! Yep! right in heavy brush. Oh man, look at that. A beautiful mangrove jack. Oh mate, how cool is that? On these big splash prawns. Oh, they are the most angry fish getting around these estuaries. Take a look. He's He's lived through a bit of a battle, this one. He's got a scar on the other side of him. Take a look at this. I reckon maybe when he was little, a bull shark had a go at him. I bet he probably had a go back too. <sighs> Stunning, aren't they? God, he just cracked that splash prawn. Look at that. Right in against his heavy cover. Have a look at their jaw structure and their teeth just how aggressive these things are. And these low light conditions, look at that big eye. They don't miss these things. God, they're just insane. All right, so that is the new, the biggest sized MMD splash prawn. I think it's mmd.com.au to get onto mixed site and get your hands on a couple of these. They are fire on the mangrove jack. And especially this time of year when you've had a little bit of runoff and the water's cleaning up, there's sections where the prawns are moved into and the jacks are after them. Give them a try, boys.